What's going on guys? Welcome back to What The Reef. Today we're getting into if you would, if you're thinking about purchasing a water box cube 20 with stand and all, just how you see here, um, how much would it actually cost? Because sometimes you look at tanks, you're like, okay, I want this, it's small, it might cost me this much, but then are you really factoring in everything you need that goes with an aquarium? Sometimes the tank itself costs a lot, but then you're talking about heaters, lights, etc. It's gonna cost a pretty penny. So just because it's small doesn't mean it's gonna be cheap. Um, obviously bigger tanks is gonna be more because bigger equipment, but let's just list, I'm gonna list everything in this setup. Nothing extra, nothing crazy, just what you need to set this thing up. So the Cube 20 itself with stand, you're looking at $698.99. So $698.99. Um, this is everything, just straight pricing, no taxes, so taxes, wherever you are, include that. Um, Nano, Live, Nano Life Rock, 10 pounds. Um, 10 pounds, you're looking at $65. Uh, Nano Arches, well, Arches, I did Arches, you don't have to do Arches, but I'm just going off of what I got here. Nano Arches, you're looking at $109.99. Uh, 20 pound Fiji Pink Live Sand, from care of C, $38.99. Um, you're gonna need a, revor a reverse RODI system. Um, the four stage one I got is $269.99. Uh, heater is the bulk re reef supply heater, the little Wi-Fi ink bird. That one's running $118.99. Uh, you're gonna need salt. So I got the Pro Reef Salt the 100 gallon box uh, by Tropic Marin, and that's running 57.44. Five gallon reservoir for your auto top off. I got the Crystal ATO five gallon reservoir trigger system. That's running 124.99. Uh, auto top off pump. Uh, the Duetto is right now it's on sale for 99.99. Then. The Radeon XR15G6, $499.99. Uh, don't forget about the mount. You're gonna have to put a mount on that light. That's running at $107.93. Uh, last thing, I got the One Nero 3 powerhead, and that's going for $179.99. So you're looking at a grand total of everything I just said. $2,327.28 plus tax. So, that's that's a big chunk of change for something this small. So just because it's small, doesn't mean it's gonna be cheap. Also, if you're looking and getting, and you have like a strict budget, um, look on Facebook Market. There's people always getting out of the hobby and there's always a bunch of people getting in the hobby. So if you're one of the person getting in the hobby, you can score some great deals. Like I said in another video, the G6, XR15 G6, 500 bucks. I got that from Facebook Market for 250 with the mount. That was a steal. Um, so check there. Sometimes people sell entire systems for a great price. And it's already mount, um, plumbed and everything. So if you're ready to get into it, you can find some great deals on there. Also eBay. So, but yeah guys, uh, this was just like, kind of a reality check or if you're just interested in like what how much a system like this cost and there you have it this is an expensive hobby but it's awesome getting into it and just it will change your life so i'm not trying to steer anyone away from buying a reef tank um definitely get one if you want to get one and you really enjoy the saltwater hobby or you get excited about it, you watch videos all the time then get one because you're interested in it and there's a lot of upkeep i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of upkeep but um if you watch my videos i'm gonna show you how to run one simplify but just factor in that it's expensive everyone knows saltwater fish and keeping this kind these kinds of aquariums are expensive so don't like buy it and like oh my god like i can't afford this because that's gonna suck you just blew all that money so Get your funds right, get you a tank, get in the reefing community, get in some forms so you know like what's going on and join Facebook groups, 
uh, marketplaces and all that kind of stuff and you will be fine. Just don't go crazy with buying coral and fish if you're on a tight budget because that stuff can get expensive. Um, get some easy stuff at first and once you become an expert or intermediate at reef keeping, then go spend the extra money and you can buy some more exotic fish and coral. So that's a big thing people do. They go jump in and get expensive stuff and regret it because they fish die or coral die. So anyways, small tank doesn't mean a small price. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? We got great things coming your way. Catch you guys on the next round.